This video demonstrates the effectiveness of cold fire multi-purpose fire suppressant against a Class B diesel fire. This was filmed at the Val Yankee Fire Training Center in Houston, Texas in cooperation with the Houston Fire Department. Across the country and across the world, liquid fuel fires are a constant threat of damage to lives, property, and the environment. Still, many major oil companies have a let it burn and we'll replace it later policy when it comes to fires with their rigs and tanks. We must assume that they just don't know that there is a safe, affordable, and eco-friendly alternative to let it burn. That alternative is cold fire. In this demonstration, we have filled this 40-foot open tanker with water to prevent structural damage and floated 165 gallons of off-road diesel fuel on the top. To attack this fire, the fireman on the left has a foam attachment on his regular attack nozzle. Cold fire is being inducted to his line at the truck at about a 6% solution. To his right, the fireman is spraying straight water onto the grass below the tank as well as on the containers to the left to prevent structural damage to them from the extreme heat. To his right, hidden behind the massive clouds of black smoke, is another fireman aiming a cross stream that will help direct the foam into the tank. Watch how quickly cold fire works to put out this raging inferno. Again, see how the black toxic smoke quickly turns to white. Cold fire is one of the only advanced wetting agents that works like a foam. With any standard foaming nozzle or collar, Cold fire can make a thick blanket of wet foam. It can also work with cast systems and proportioning systems. It took only about 40 seconds and less than 8 gallons of cold fire at a 6% solution to completely put out this fire. Immediately after the fire, I wanted to show the extraordinary cooling abilities of cold fire. The top edges of this tanker were still extremely hot. With nothing but a 12 ounce spray can, I spray a small section of the top of this tanker with cold fire. Look closely and you'll see how as it cools the metal, more cold fire starts to stick. As soon as it stops evaporating off, the metal is cool enough to touch, while the metal around it is still extremely hot. What this means is that the cold fire not only puts out the fire, but it lowers your risk of serious structural damage to the equipment. It also means much lower risk of reignition and the fireman can get in and start working the scene that much quicker. Getting the fire out faster also means less water usage, less cleanup, less diking, and less hazmat hassles. It is the perfect solution for industries needing to protect their investments of millions, even billions of dollars.